Analysis by Yusuf Fernandes In late May, the European Union extended its sanctions against Syria. For its part, the United States started in those days its program to train moderate armed elements who should allegedly fight against ISIL, but whose real goal is to overthrow the Syrian government. The European Union and the United States claim to support the war against ISIL, but they never mention the other big terrorist group, Al Nusra Front, the branch of the global terrorist movement Al Qaeda in Syria. All the statements by Western countries in which they say they are concerned by the expansion of terrorism in Syria, Iraq, or other Middle Eastern nations never refer to Al Qaeda or its affiliate Al Nusra Front. Has the West forgotten the September 11th attacks? In 2001, Al Qaeda was the West's biggest enemy and the target of the so called War on Terror. Now, Al Qaeda is openly cooperating with some U.S. allies in the Middle East, which are openly sponsoring terrorism in Syria. The U.S. and the EU are doing nothing to stop this support, even though it would be very easy for them to do so. There seems to be an attempt by some Western countries, especially France and the United States, to recreate the failed strategy put into practice in Afghanistan in the 1980s, that is to support terrorists against its international and regional rivals, not caring about the consequences for the peoples of the region and ultimately for Western countries themselves. Turkey, Saudi Arabia and Qatar have become the leading sponsors of terrorism in the world. However, none of them have been included in a US or EU list. Funnily, the US list includes Iran and Syria, two of the countries along with Iraq which are the main actors in the war against terrorist groups in the Middle East, which are supported by the U.S. and its allies. Recently, Turkey sent thousands of terrorists through the border to Syria in order to launch an offensive in the province of Idlib, whose territory is now in the hands of Al Nusra Front. A recent video published by Turkish daily newspaper Cumhuriyet shows Turkish state intelligence agents participating in smuggling of arms against the borders to terrorists. For its part, Qatar and Saudi Arabia have launched a media campaign to try to clean up the image of Al Nusra Front. Last March, some media belonging to the Persian Gulf Arab states claimed that this organization could break its ties with Al Qaeda, led by Ayman al Zawahiri without changing its doctrine and form a new organization supported by the Persian Gulf monarchies. Al Nusra Front, however, rejected to distance itself from Al Qaeda. This decision was made public in a statement quoted by Reuters. In spite of it, and of being included in the UN list of terrorist groups, it is clear that Al Nusra Front has not suffered an interruption of aid from countries such as Turkey or Qatar. The United States and the European Union, by allowing their allies, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and NATO member in Turkey to fund and arm these groups by trying to weaken Syria through sanctions and by training and funding moderate armed groups which openly cooperate with Al Qaeda on the ground are not only guilty of the mass murdering of Syrian people but also of the creation of a future huge threat to the West. Western countries have promoted the dangerous fiction of the existence of a moderate armed opposition in Syria. Actually, there are no moderate terrorists in Syria. All of them share the same extremist ideology and want to build an extremist state, a Wahhabi dictatorship, which would rule Syria through terror. But the reality is that the Syrian government, people and army will fight and defeat the terrorist groups.